This video is sponsored by Brilliant.org. So I've been receiving quite a bit of comments and emails about Starnet not working with serial. I've also seen the same questions asked in serial support forums as well. So I want to put this video together real quick, mainly for myself. So the next time somebody poses the question to me that Starnet is not working with serial, that it's an easy way for me to point them back to this video to show them how to figure out what's going on. This video is meant to be to show you what the problem is. If you do exhibit this issue, unfortunately, there is no solution for it. But we'll get into that more as we get started. My name is Rich, and you're watching Deep Space Astro. So this video is not going to be about how to download, install, and configure Serial to use Starnet, but I will give you a quick overview because I've seen some people stumble on this step as well. When you're downloading Starnet for Serial, you have to download the command line version. The, the GUI version, the graphical user interface version, will not work with Serial. So when you hit starnetastro.com and you come over to the downloads page, you're not looking for the links that are up here. You want to scroll down to where you see command line tool. I'm running Windows and you wanna grab that zip file. Once you have that in place, and I'm gonna jump over here to my PC, you wanna extract the zip file somewhere on your hard drive, and these are the files that are contained within that zip file that we just downloaded. That's the first step. Second step, you wanna come over into Serial, in the preferences, and under miscellaneous, where it says must point to a valid starting executable, you wanna to point to that executable in that package that you just downloaded. At that point, you'd expect everything to work, but what's been happening, what a lot of people are seeing, and this is what I was talking about, they're coming up to image processing, star processing, starnet star removal, and right down here on the bottom, even though we just downloaded and configured starnet properly, it says no valid starnet executable found in the configured starnet installation directory. This is the issue that we're going to talk about today. So the first thing that I want you to do when this message comes up, because there could be another reason for this error um, that, that is unknown for right now. If this is what you're seeing when you're trying to get starnet working within serial, the first thing that you want to do so go ahead and cancel out of this and go into the directory where you've extracted the Starnet command line interface. And you'll notice in here they gave us an RGB test5.tif file. To verify that Starnet is in fact working, you're going to take this file and you're going to drag and drop it right on top of the executable file. Give it a few minutes. If this message pops up because it's the first time you ran it, go ahead and click run anyway. And if everything worked correctly, we should have another TIFF file with the stars removed, but we don't. This is what everybody's seeing. This error is pointing to not a serial issue, not a Starnet issue, but a CPU issue. Issue with the CPU is, is your processor does not have the advanced vector extensions as part of the instruction set. So how do you determine if that's actually the problem that you have? Well, again, back here where I showed you the error message, this is my mini PC that I have mounted on my telescope. I don't use this for processing. I just loaded Cyril and started on here so I can show you guys the actual error message. Um, this is the Melee 3 and it has the Intel N5105 CPU in it. That specific CPU does not include the AVX instruction set. So there are two ways that you can determine whether or not your CPU does have this instruction set. The first is, is you can simply Google your processor. So in this case, I just randomly selected the Intel Core i58-365U and under advanced technologies, and then on the right here, inst instruction set extensions, you can see this specific CPU does in fact support AVX. That's what you want to see. That's what you need for Starnet to work. Again, this isn't a serial issue. This is a Starnet requirement. Now on the Melee 3, I did the same thing and I searched for the Intel N5105, came down to advanced technologies and under instruction set extensions, you can see AVX and AVX2 are not listed. That is an indication that that instruction set is not supported by the CPU, and that is why you're getting the error message and it's not working with Cyril. Um, if you hover and click over the little question mark here, it mentions the AVX instruction set, just indicating that if it did support it, this is where it would be listed at. So that's one way. The other way, if, if you're unsure of the information that you found on your processor, there is a piece of software that you can install so we're going to go back over to my Melee PC, and I'll leave this link down in the description. But if you download HW Info, it'll actually tell you whether or not your CPU supports the AVX instruction set. So um, be careful on this site. There's a lot of advertisements 
that look like they may be the download buttons and everything. So just watch. You want this one over here that says installer. Come down here to where it says free download. I'm in the US, so I'm going to use the US download. Throw that into my downloads directory. Okay, our download is complete. So we're just going to double click the file that we downloaded to install the software. Pretty straightforward. Just accept the agreement. Next, next. Nothing specific that you need to do to get it installed. Once it's done, you can leave launch HW info selected. Hit finish, click yes, and then click on the start button when the program comes up. And this will take a few seconds, but it's going through and it's scanning the hardware in your computer. And then you can see right here under the features, everything that is in the green text is what's supported. Everything that is grayed is not. And right here you can see AVX and AVX2 are grayed out. So that's my indication that this processor, in this case, the Melee 3, the Intel 5105, does not have support for the AVX instruction set. So unfortunately, if you're trying to run StarNet on a processor that does not support this instruction set, there is nothing that you can do. So unfortunately, if your processor does not support the AVX instruction set, then you will not be able to run StarNet on that specific machine. So like I said in the beginning, there's not a solution for it, but at least now you know for sure what the issue is. It's not a problem with serial. It's not a problem with StarNet. It's a problem with your CPU and the AVX instruction set. And that's just all the fancy computer hardware and how everything works together stuff and actually if you want to learn more about that the best way to do that is to go to brilliant.org it's a free and easy way that you can learn more about computers and how they work brilliant is the best way for anyone to learn not only how computer hardware works together but also thousands of other lessons such as neural networks math and science in the newly released lesson, How Technology Works, you'll learn the inner workings of everyday technology from computer hardware and online platforms. Whatever your skill level, Brilliant customizes the content to fit your needs and allows you to complete the lessons at your own pace in a fun, interactive, and easy way from basic to advanced topics. And they're adding new lessons every month. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org forward slash deep space astro or click on the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off of Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So hopefully this clears things up for a lot of you. I also want to say thank you to all my members on Buy Me A Coffee and here on YouTube. I appreciate everybody's donations and joining the memberships that I have available on both platforms. Thank you to everybody for your time for watching the videos. I really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video in clear skies.